Hello, I'm Robin and welcome to Bookspin. Today I'll be reviewing another classic 1960s sci-fi novel, Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle. Many will be familiar with this story through the various films, sequels and reboots it has inspired over the years. Reading the original novel, however, is quite a different experience. I would say it's more philosophical in tone than the movie franchise. A number of interesting and thought-provoking ideas are explored through a fantastical story which is one of the most memorable science fiction novels I've read in recent times. This book was first published in French as La Planète des Singes in 1963, and shortly afterwards the English translation was published as Planet of the Apes in America or Monkey Planet in the UK. Following the release of the 1968 film adaptation and its numerous sequels, Planet of the Apes became the standard name for the novel. The story is set a few hundred years in the future, in which we follow Ulysse Miro, a French journalist who sets out on a voyage with two other explorers to Betelgeuse, 300 light years from home. They discover a planet remarkably similar to Earth, upon which they land and give the name Sorrow. They quickly find themselves in the company of a band of humans, who look just like people from Earth. However, these people turn out to be extremely primitive, without the ability to speak, use tools, or even produce emotional responses, such as smiling. Attempts to communicate with these people are soon disrupted by a far more threatening force. This is the point in the novel where the apes make their first appearance. In this world, the apes are highly intelligent beings with their own civilization and advanced technology. Our protagonist is captured and cut off from his companions. These particular apes are gorillas on the hunt to collect human specimens required for biological research. Miro finds himself imprisoned in a research lab with various human savages. From here, the story follows his attempts to make dialogue with the chimpanzee scientists who work with him, with a goal to free himself and better understand this world, in particular, the underlying mystery of the origin of the ape's higher intelligence versus the savagery of his fellow humans. The nature of what constitutes civilization is a fascinating theme which is constantly explored throughout the book. I found the descriptions of simian culture and technology on Sorrel very interesting. There are three races that comprise what are called simia sapiens, gorillas, chimpanzees and orangutans, each with their own unique features and history which form their own castes. The chimpanzees, for example, are described as liberal and scientifically minded, whereas orangutans are conservative, pompous and supporting politics and religion, and gorillas are aggressive and required to support law and order. It is suggested there used to be conflict among these races, but they now live together peacefully. Their world is remarkably similar to 20th century Earth civilization, with cities, industry, newspapers, cars and so on. That is to say, the world that Pierre Boulle was writing in. However, in the story, human civilization on Earth is actually far more advanced by this point, in the year 2500, with the existence of interstellar travel. The question is thus, how did the apes on Sorrow reach this level of evolutionary advancement, and why were the humans left so far behind? Unfolding this mystery forms an intriguing part of the story and is one reason it's such a captivating read. Another important theme this book explores is animal welfare and the ethics of animal experimentation. The subversive situation we witness of humans being locked in cages and subjected to experiments, some very inhumane involving vivisection, is a stark satire on experiments performed on primates in our own world and the ethics of keeping apes behind bars in a zoo. The uncomfortable questions this book raises regarding animal rights 
feel quite far ahead of its time. Alongside these philosophical themes, there is an exciting plot which compels the reader to keep going on. Bull's writing is very engaging and the chapters are short and easy to read. I was hooked throughout and got through this book pretty quickly. The ending in particular is shocking and unforgettable and in a different way from the film. What we have then is an enjoyable and thought-provoking sci-fi adventure which I can thoroughly recommend. I'm giving Planet of the Apes a score of four and a half stars. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for further science fiction content to come.